And uh, since Friday, we'll be bringing to you the latest on the German elections. And we know that the latest information, as always, even though Angela Merkel has been retained as a chancellor, it is that the AFD, that's the alternative for Deutschland or Germany, now has about 13% of the votes. Uh, as a result of that, has a lot more seats in Parliament now. First time that it's happening. It's, um, it's a historic one. And uh, the CDU and uh, we have the SPD, they will continue to make sure that uh, um, they have the insight into what really is the, uh, the mainstay of who controls Germany and how the organization as well as the governance of Germany is going to go. But we have Latif. Uh, Latif Idris, who had been a uh, main man uh, uh, alongside uh, Gifty and Rapia, and uh, Latif uh, will be streaming live from Germany. Good morning to you, Latif. Well, so we have to bring you that, but please uh, join news checks are also revealing worrying sanitation and health challenges in Kumasi as food is prepared and sold near piled up dumping sites and open choked drains. Fish smoking hubs at Asafo and catering sites at Dr. Mensa share spaces with some of the filthiest gutters in the metropolis. Well, good for us. Uh, Lava firms Erastas Asari Donko has been crisscrossing the city to assess the extent of risks. <laughs> Many traders in Kumase prefer to occupy and transact business on streets and pavements rather than designated market centers. City authorities are overwhelmed by the situation at Kejitia, Adum Pizet, Dr. Mensa, Alabar, and other commercial hubs in the city center taken over by traders. Ongoing reconstruction of the Kejitia project, which precedes the proposed rebuilding of the Kumasi Central Market has worsened the space situation. Besides the danger of humans competing with vehicles for space, the large volumes of people create insanitary conditions at risk of public health. Food is sold by choked, stinking, dumping side points. Those city authorities collect daily tolls. This is Dr. Mensa at the heart of Kumasi. What we are witnessing here is filth, waste, stench. The smell alone is so bad. The question you ask yourself is how do people live and work in an environment like this? They contribute to the filth, they stay within it, they smell it, and they live by it. But this is a place where KMA makes so much money in revenue collection, tax, and all that. But behind me here is a bad, muddy, filthy road which drivers ply every day. This site you're seeing here is an avalanche of filth created by the people who live here. So we are talking about the people and the attitude, an assembly that is not enforcing its bylaws to ensure that people do not commit, in quote, environmental suicide. This is where all the food vendors throw their liquid waste. Even though there is a dumping site around, people dump waste here, others urinate, and sometimes defecate here. We want them every day, but they come back. The KMA should do something about this, because we also pay levies here. A few meters from this filthy site area at Dr. Mensa is this cooking hub where a number of food vendors take supplies for retail. The unhygienic conditions and the sweat of the caterers combine to expose patrons to danger. Some of the women here say though they have undergone food handling tests at the beginning of the year, they are yet to know the outcome and even receive their certificates. Yet, they cook for the public. She says they come here themselves to perform the medical examination. They make sure people with diseases get treated before they are allowed to cook. We have been screened this year, but the results are yet to be handed to us. 
I'm the results now, I'm the results now, I'm the receipt here, a chair, say, I hear crater, and I'm the other. The situation at the Asafo Cold Store area perhaps is worse. This choked and filthy drain is site for open defecation despite being Kumasi's biggest hub for fresh and smoked fish. As I stand here, right on the main Kumasi Asafo drain, three words come into my mind, filth, disease, and squalor. This drain witnesses one of the damnedest things that you can find in Kumasi, people defecate in this drain. People dump all manner of unsavory things right into this drain. But then, this place is also home to where we sell fish, where a chunk of the city's smoked fish come from. To my left here, as you can see, this is where we smoke majority of the fish that is sold on the open market in Kumasi. But it is close to this drain where people use as a defecation point, where they dump stuff, where all the filth pass in here. The Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly's night cleanup, spearheaded by City Mayor Osei Sibi Entry, in addition to sanitation by law enforcement, perhaps needs intensified effort to avert looming danger. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaridonko, Kumasi. And Lava Firms Asaridonko uh, bringing to us the extent of uh, unhygienic situation in some of the uh, catering or cooking areas in Kumasi. It should be a concern for many of us. <laughs>